Going on holiday is amazing. Loads of sunshine, the beach is just down the road, and loads of adventures to be had. But the fact of the matter is, if you're anything like me, you're still gonna wanna train whilst you're away. And that means supplements. But we can't bring our whole pharmacy out with us, so we need to triage our pills and potions into nice-to-haves, which unfortunately for this period will stay at home, and the bedrock of our stack, the non-negotiables, which I rarely get on a plane without. Okay, today, so with morning coffee in hand, I'm gonna walk you through a couple of my absolute staples. These are the magic pills and potions that I will not go on vacation without because they are at the bedrock of my supplement stack. The first one, you guessed it, the first thing that I do every single flipping day, I have a drink of water with my Smart Fast Electrolyte Salt. So Smart Fast is the brand. This is basically uh, kind of the ideal combination of potassium, magnesium, and sodium, which works in your adrenal system, gives you a nice little buzz. This is the thing that when you mix it with some water and drink it in the morning, men think it tastes like seawater, and women think it tastes like something else. And for those proud Englishmen amongst you, the chances are, if you are going on vacation, it will be somewhere warmer than our beloved country, which means you may well sweat more. Combining that with the fact that you'll probably still be working out and the fact that you'll be doing outdoor activities, hence the reason that you want to go on holiday, electrolyte salts like this should absolutely be a staple part. I go for the unflavoured ones, hence the uh, mysterious pseudo-sexual taste. However, if you're not fasting, you can have any electrolyte salts you want. So in terms of dosage, I have, uh, there's a scoop already comes in. I have a scoop mixed with some water in the morning, literally first thing when I get out of bed. And then if it's a day with a certain amount of outdoor activity, and I'm not kind of getting super sweaty from a session, but ambiently flipping dehydrated by the fact that I'm out quad biking or out on a hike for three hours or something, I'll probably have another one of these in the afternoon. Moving on now to the way that I usually break my fast, and that is with a green shake. I've spoken a lot about AG1 over the last couple of years. However, I have recently began to diversify, and I'm also taking clean greens by Real Superfoods. I actually know the guys a little bit that, that run Real, and one of the reasons why I just flipping love this product is it is not bullshit when they talk about the fact that they care about making sure that everything is so flipping clean. Uh, the tastes are a little bit different. This is, I'd say, slight, honestly, slightly less sweet, but in a weird way, some days I kind of like that actually in it, in it and it tastes exactly the way that a green shake should taste but i have to say i do like this i think it's incredibly flipping good for you to get your greens in again in a glass in a big glass of cold water as you break your fast it is gluten free obviously that is something i feel safe with being the fact that i'm gluten intolerant and the fact that charlotte the co-founder of real is celiac so our shared digestive disability is the reason for her founding this company, which adds to the fact that I'm a big fan. Clean greens by Real or AG1. If it's something you have every day, maybe there's a benefit actually in diversifying it. I don't know, day on day off, week on week off, month on month off, whatever it may be. Obviously the ingredients are gonna be slightly different. So who knows, maybe that's an accidental benefit of taking two different variations of the same kind of thing. And the next one, something to stack with my coffee, uh, which is something I did years ago when I read Boundless by Ben Greenfield, and I've just stopped doing it for some reason. Um, but that is basically stack coffee, especially in the morning when I'm doing it, when I'm having kind of a black coffee on an empty stomach. And that is to take it with some L-theanine. And the reason for this is you get all the amazing benefits of caffeine, but you don't get the jitters. And you don't, basically L-theanine is an amino acid which helps reduce the jitters and reduce the crash. It doesn't do anything to kind of dilute the caffeine effect and the stimulating effect that we all know and love and the whole fucking world is addicted to coffee for, but it just kind of reduces the, the overflow and kind of the boil over of just feeling a little bit shaky and then probably having a crash in the afternoon. When I do this regularly, I definitely do feel a difference. And L-theanine is one of the cheapest supplements you can get. I think I've had this little bag. I mean, it's only got 180 capsules, which means I probably should have finished it by now. I can't even remember how much this cost, a couple of quid. I'll put all the links to all these products down in the description below, OVS. But I remember feeling very emotionally attached to this because it is so flipping cheap. And if you drink a lot of coffee, I mean, I don't know about you, I'm not gonna go on holiday and stop drinking the black tar that gives me more joy than anything else in life. That is a big statement and maybe I need to look into that further, but let's can that for now. L-theanine is my third non-negotiable supplement in my non-negotiable travel stack. My fourth one of the day, going a little bit more niche now, Boron. I love that I have to look at it to make sure that I've got the right flipping tub in my hand. But I did it again. Boron, 10 milligrams. This is something that I've been taking since I had my bloods done with Marac Health probably just over a year ago now. And there are a couple of benefits associated with this product that I'm going to read directly from my good friend Google. 
Okay, so as the current article shows, I'm, I'm reading a headline here. Boron has been proven to be an important trace mineral because one, it is essential for the growth and maintenance of bone. Two, greatly improves wound healing. Beneficial for me, post-surgery. Three, beneficially impacts the body's use of estrogen, testosterone, and vitamin D. And four, boosts magnesium support. Five, reduces levels of inflammatory biomarkers such as high sensitivity for C-reactive protein. Anyway, we're getting lost in the woods now. So boron, I am now 35. I don't look a day over 47, thank you for saying so. And this is one of the top things, as I said, that came up on my kind of suggested supplements when I did my Maric Health test last year. It took me a while to get it in, but as you can see from that, it literally is like a fucking superfood. The amount of things that it does that are extremely relevant to people who are active and extremely relevant to people who live in the modern world where these pesticides and heavy metals may come into your body. It just seems bloody brilliant. It's one tiny little tub, it's not expensive, and it's these little micronutrients that might just, again, stack the deck in your favor if you do take something like this for your overall health and well-being, for your own performance, and for your own longevity. It makes sense that even if you're going away for a week, you should take it with you. If you don't think you can fit it in your luggage, put it in your goddamn pocket. And fifth and finally, creatine. Creatine monohydrate. Creatine and uh, the green shake are probably what I would have a year ago kind of classed as my non-negotiables. Obviously that stack has grown from two to five now, but it is something that I have five grams of pretty much every day of my life. And it is something that luckily all of us can feel incredibly safe in because of the amount of flipping research and data that this particular supplement has behind. It. Those are my five, but some of you might be wondering why I wouldn't have protein in there, even if it's, you know, vegan protein, whey protein, clear whey, whatever it may be. And the reason for me is this, it is not just about what has the biggest benefit on my health, longevity, and performance. It's what I can bridge the gap with and that I'm least likely to be able to get when I go away. I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to get all the fruits and vegetables that I want, which is why the green shake as standard is so great, but on holiday, on vacation, is even more important. But with protein, I can go down the shop, I can get some a bigger portion of meat. I've already got my big protein and fat heavy first meal that I usually break my fast with at midday. It's not that hard to be in an environment that isn't your home environment that you're used to and bolster your protein. It's not that difficult. Everywhere sells flipping protein bars, everywhere sells shakes, everywhere sells meat. You can hit your protein target fairly easily. However, in a very small Spanish town, the chances of me going to a coffee shop and asking for an L-theanine capsule with my coffee, well, the chances of me asking is pretty high. The chances of them delivering is very low. Exactly the same with boron, right? These two things that are very important to me, it's not necessarily that they are more important to anything else. It's just I'm looking at it through the lens of what am I least likely to be able to get whilst I'm here. Hope that makes sense, beautiful people. Just a short, sharp one today whilst I have my coffee and I've missed you. I haven't released a video in over a week, which is the longest time ever. I hope you have a beautiful day whenever and wherever you're watching this. If you did like this, please do smash that like button. It takes you two seconds. In fact, I'll take a little break now where you can do that. That's our deal, right? I'm gonna sip this. You go hit that like button. If you did that, thanks. If you did it and you liked the video, I really appreciate it. If you didn't, Shame on you. If you have not yet done so, please make sure you subscribe. Any comments or questions or suggestions or requests on anything, please put it down in the comment section below. And as always, beautiful people, stay strong, stay healthy, stay awesome. And I'll see you all in the next video.